are the top factors that are going to help high-value men retain quality women throughout their lives. A word of caution, though. Don't use any of these tactics to do anyone any harm or subject them to anything that might cause them grief. Additionally, I'm not here to advise you to date solely or monogamously. You get to make that decision as a man. You must make that choice based on your own worldview. But in this video, I'm going to offer you a set of specific things to accomplish. And I'll give you concrete advice on how to make the most of the women who want to remain in your life. This is to stay in your life and spread positive energy, to keep good company, and to genuinely be the perfect companion you want. Let's begin. Number one, have total independence. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is set up your life such that you have the most flexibility possible if you want to keep beautiful, gorgeous, and attractive women. It delves deeply into practicalities. One of the biggest things that guys don't understand when they're trying to have women in their lives, whether it's one particular woman or whether it's multiple women, is that logistics and practicalities play a huge role in things. For example, if you're going to date women in high regularity, it's going to take one thing that not a lot of guys have, which is time. The logistical component is crucial because, without it, I could offer you any psychological framing technique or any kind of, you know, male behavioral system to ensure that women want to stick around you. But if you don't have the free time to hang out with these women, relax with them, and ensure that you have positive encounters, you won't succeed. You must specifically plan your life to allow for spontaneity if you want complete independence. Women enjoy excitement and emotion, and they appreciate a man who can act impulsively. The reason is that it demonstrates not just a nice disposition and charm, but also means you have the means to support yourself, are in charge, and have independence. Typically, competence in terms of producing money comes with freedom. Money does matter if you want women to stay in your life, keep them, and possibly see a future with you. I won't sugarcoat the situation or tell you that you shouldn't care about money in order to attract women. You'd better believe you need to get your stuff together, and you'd better believe it. It sounds delicious to have that independence right about now. This is really seductive to a woman. Maybe that includes spontaneous adventures and dates. If you've been seeing a woman for a while, you might occasionally arrange an impromptu trip for the two of you. Women want to feel unique. Setting up your life for total independence is the only way you will have the time to do this. Number two, have a life women want to be part of you need to lead a life that any lady would want to be a part of in the long run. This is one of the things that many red pill gurus out there fail to disclose. They don't tell you this, and the reason they don't is that they are working from a theoretical position. Here's what I'm getting at. I've never seen or been around a woman who can continuously have a physical relationship with a man for several weeks or months at a time by only being a night call. A female who constantly wants to see you and have intimate encounters with you without becoming overly jaded, bitter, or resentful, or even without beginning to just pull away totally and become emotionally walled off, is something I have never once seen work. Here's something you should know about women. Physical intimacy is an extremely private and emotional behavior. Here's what happens if she's open to discussing that with you and she starts to feel unappreciated for certain things she's seeking from you. She will withdraw emotionally from you when you do that, and the moment she does, you stop getting laid and the intimacy entirely stops. Listen, if you don't treat them properly, they are going to start stepping back and turning away from you and from your life. Essentially, if you want to maintain and retain women in your life, you've got to have a certain lifestyle where you have total freedom of time. And that only comes when you have some money, when you're extremely disciplined, and when you have your days planned ahead. It's with this freedom that you can have a life where you have the option of being spontaneous, for example, where you just get up one day and decide to buy tickets and accommodations somewhere in Europe and take your girl along with you. Women stay for that sort of excitement. But note that such women are only worthy of taking along when you know they're invested in you even when you're not doing that well. Otherwise, you might as well hire someone to be with you during the good times. Therefore, set up your life 
so that any woman would want to be a part of it in the long run. Number three, don't lie. The third point is to not lie to women, to be as straightforward as you possibly can, and to have no fear of speaking the absolute truth. You need to consider this from a female perspective as well. If you can't tell a woman the truth, it demonstrates your weakness. Therefore, if you feel the need to be vague or sugarcoat anything, it actually sends confusing signals to her because she is sitting here contemplating why the man can't tell her the truth. The moment you have to lie about anything, you become emasculated and she's not going to appreciate you. Women will respect you more if you are just upfront with them and tell them the reality. Whenever a man misleads a woman, rebuilding any sort of trust is really difficult after that. She begins to view you as having such a lower value that she begins to emotionally withdraw and stop communicating with you. And the reason you're afraid of the truth is that she can tell when you're weak. Truth is a powerful quality to live by it in and of itself. Therefore, never be vague, never tell lies, and never do these things because doing so would make her think you are a weak person. Put an end to it. Number 4. Treat them well. Another thing that not many other dating experts will advise you to do is treat women properly. If you respect yourself highly, you don't need to treat women badly. Do not mistreat women. This is because you're playing young boys games if you think you need to upset women emotionally in order for them to want to stay in your life. All of this turbulence is included in little boys games. You see those gurus out there telling you to ignore women. Sure, that might work in high school against teenagers, but it's not something that works in real life. Believe me, I've tried multiple times. If you are financially secure, your life is in order, and you have self-confidence, then there's no need for you to treat someone poorly. And here is why. The moment you expect the woman to have the calm, courteous energy that you're expecting her to have in your life, it doesn't happen because you're probably not treating her well. You don't want to give her your husband vibes and not even commit to taking care of her. If you are financially secure, your life is in order, and you have self-confidence. Number five, know yourself. One of the most underrated factors that can maintain women in your life is if you truly have taken the time out in your life for self-reflection to truly understand yourself. A man who understands himself understands his own weaknesses and strengths. He works on those strengths and improves his weak points to ensure he lives his life to the max. So, in order to retain women in your life, you have to be consistent with who you are from the inside because that's the person the right woman will stay for. So, these were five important factors you need to know in order to maintain and retain women throughout your life. Know any more? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell icon.